Just like, just like to say a few words. <laughs> first of all, first of all, okay. The night is ours, but we want to congratulate our opponent for running a clean campaign and a tough campaign, and we congratulate him. It's not easy to lose, but he deserves credit for running a damn good campaign. I think what we can say tonight is that we have won an incredible victory. Not only, not, not only have we retained the mayor's seat, we have won in Ward 1. One in Ward 2, one in Ward... Okay, Terry, come here. All right, come here. Terry Baricious. Is Sharon Boucher here? Sharon here yet? Is Tom Smith here yet? Yeah. yeah Tom! Tom Smith. <laughs> Tom, get up here. And from what I heard on the radio, we are still alive in Ward 5. <laughs> Is is Mary Bentley here? Mary Bentley here? So what we have done is won three all dramatic seats and we have a shot at a fourth. And furthermore, furthermore, from what I can understand, we have won every one of the initiatives that were on the ballot. And if that's if that is in fact the case, and we haven't seen the final results, among other things, what that does mean, after years and years of discussion, we are going to get the people-oriented waterfront that we have fought for. Okay. The last point that I want to make is this, that tonight's victory clearly would not have been, not have been possible without the work of an enormous number of people. There's no question about it. We have never had, never had, as good a volunteer and grassroots effort as we have had in this campaign. And there are hundreds of people that we could bring forward right now, but I want to bring at least two people forward. Jim Schumacher. And every time you called the office, whether it was early in the morning or late at night, Rachel Levin was there. Yeah. Rachel. Okay, what we have done tonight, let's take stock of it. What we have done tonight really is a credit to all of us and to the people of the city of Burlington. What we have shown is that after six years of being the only independent progressive government in the entire United States of America, that after six years, not only are we not getting weaker, we're getting stronger. And with that, with that responsibility of being a unique type of government in America, goes not only the obligation to continue to do the very best job that we can for the people of Burlington, and that goes without saying, and we're going to continue to do that, but equally important, we have got to be an example to the rest of the United States of America that a grassroots movement standing up, fighting for world peace, fighting for social justice, fighting for economic democracy, for the rights of all people, rather than just the very rich, is an idea that is as American as apple pie. <laughs> as Tom says, 
as Tom says, with Vermont apples. That's right. Okay? So I look forward in the next two years with your support and with the support of all of the people in our city to make these next two years the very best that we've ever had. And I thank all of you very much. Thank you. elections. Uh, we have, through the victory of Sharon Boucher, won a, another seat on the Board of Aldermen, and it's, I think as most people know, it is not easy to defeat an incumbent. And I congratulate Sharon and the people in Ward 1 uh, who worked so hard to bring that about. Terry Baricius won re-election in a very hard race. Uh, Tom Smith won election. Uh, and Mary Bentley did extremely well in Ward 5 and is going to be involved in a runoff election. And we're very proud of that. That's really quite a feat. I think of equal importance to me uh, from the Aldermanic and mayoral victory is the fact that we won and won decisively on every single ballot item that appeared before the people of Burlington yesterday. And in my view, uh, what that shows is that the people of Burlington have confidence in the future of their city. I and mean, it's one thing to vote for a candidate for election. You, know, you have two choices and you're going to vote for one. It is another thing to vote for six ballot items, including several money items, to raise your own taxes, because you believe in the city and the greatness of the city and in the future of the city. And obviously, as a result of those ballot item victories, it means that the school department is going to have the necessary funds so that we can adequately educate our kids. It means that we're going to be able to expand and improve our police department, something that I believe uh, is, is absolutely needed. Uh, it means that we're going to finally have the kinds of money that we need to create a people-oriented waterfront so that Burlington's extraordinarily beautiful waterfront will be open to all of our people uh, forever. Uh, it means that we are going to be able to provide property tax relief and a renter's rebate program to supplement the state program for the poorest people in our city. And in fact, as part of that ballot item, uh, come up with a major alternative, another alternative to the property tax, and that is, of course, the property transfer tax, one half of one percent. That issue is going to be brought down to Montpelier immediately, and we're going to do our very best to make certain that the people of Burlington who voted overwhelmingly for that item uh, get their way and, and not be rejected by the legislature. And lastly, we have passed the strongest condo conversion uh, bill in the state, uh, which will enable us to protect affordable housing in the city and we're very proud of that. So I think overall, not only in a partisan political way was I gratified by yesterday's results, and I obviously was, uh, but also I think what it, what it confirmed to me is what I think many people believe, that the people of Burlington are proud of our city, they feel that we're moving in the right direction, uh, and they're willing to, in, in some instances, vote themselves higher taxes uh, in order to continue that effort. So it was obviously, from my point of view, an extraordinary night. Um, as I uh, said before the election, and as I repeat after the, ele the election, this is going to be uh, my last term as mayor of the city of Burlington. I am as proud as I can be and, and just grateful uh, and humble uh, for the mandate that we received yesterday from the people uh, to continue another two years. It's going to be an exciting two years. Uh, a lot of ideas in the back of our minds that we'll be talking about within the next few weeks. Um, I'm very optimistic about the future of the city, and I'm looking forward to, uh, to a great two years. Thank you. Bernie, 